Okay, hi children, welcome back. In the previous video, we have discussed lot many things, and in this video, we are going to continue from that topic where we have left left in the last video. I think we have uh, completed till carbohydrates and the proteins, and now in this video, we have to start with the fats. Okay. Uh, already we have learned about the carbohydrates and the proteins we know that what is food what are the types of the this food is dif uh, differentiated and uh, how it has divided it has divided like this and uh, what is the importance of the carbohydrate and from where we get the carbohydrate and what is the importance of the protein and by eating which material of the food we get the more protein already we have studied in the last video then we will continue with the fats fat means of course these are also energy giving food these will give energy more energy than the carbohydrate and the protein and we know that fat means what if you look at me you say mom is very fatty okay and among you also in your class also some students will be there they will be very healthy and fatty then i'm not telling you that um, only being a healthy a fat is the healthy but our body we cannot um, measure the fatness of a body by only seeing looking at the their body size but the fat is mainly important or it is used for more energy than the carbohydrates and the uh, proteins and these will give energy when our body is needed for example see here uh you are there in a journey okay you example i'm giving you are going to one place to another place uh because of some issues or because of some disturbance it's not possible for you to eat the, the lunch that day okay only you ate the breakfast there is no lunch and you will reach by evening and you will take uh, 7 30 or 8 o'clock uh, uh, in the night you are going to eat some food then afternoon uh, for uh, 8 to 10 hours there is no food in your body then uh, are you going to die we are going to die that day time no no we are going to live because those time these fats whatever we eat this fat contained items in our food those are going to reserve or those are going to be st uh, stored in our body so that these food are going to release the energy whenever our body is needed you know that our body is just like a machine Okay, this this works just like a machine. Systematically, it will work. When you go for higher classes, you will learn how the, what is the digestive system and what is the other systems and how do exactly they are going to work. Okay, then by eating, what are the things which contains the fat in our food item? Oil, whatever type of oil it may be, coconut oil, and the sunflower oil, and the groundnut oil, dill oil. These all types of almonds almond oil uh, by eating this we will get more amount of oil even uh, by uh, using direct oil in our food also oil and ghee cream butter okay if uh, we use these or whenever we are using this one when we eat these all are going to store in our uh, body as a uh, fat and this fat is released when our body is needed there, there is no food for our body oil ghee butter cream by eating nuts like uh, ground nuts almonds cashew nuts by eating this till by eating this also we will get more amount of oil for our body and which is going to store in our body and when the body is needed these are going to release the energy of course the fats are also we should not eat more fats but we have to maintain these all these items in our food or in our diet regularly to get the more energy than the protein and the carbohydrates then next one is a minerals minerals then other than carbohydrates proteins fats even our body needs some extra extra means what i want to maintain my health very neat and perfect okay then uh, i want to maintain my hair my nails my teeth my bones my skin very perfectly then for that i have to eat many types of fruits many types of vegetables to get the minerals 
then minerals will help us to maintain our health maintain our body body height body skin type skin glow and healthy skin healthy teeth healthy bones healthy hair okay and to maintain these all i want extra or perfect minerals for my body then how i am going to get these minerals by eating more and more fruits by eating more and more vegetables fresh vegetables and fresh fruits i will get the minerals and this is what the importance of the minerals then vitamins uh nowadays see how the climate is climate is very cold we all are getting cold cough and fever of course the corona is the trend very latest trend now um then if we are not ill we will consult a doctor do you have you seen the doctor is going to write the um uh, tablets then exactly what tablets contains they are not going to contain some jadoo mantra so like this if i eat the tablet my body is going to do something inside jadoo and i will be okay next day okay vitamins are nothing but again there are some groups of vitamins when you go for four, uh, fifth and uh, sixth we learn this one a b complex c vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and k these are the group of vitamins then vitamin a is a particular group we have to eat some type of vegetable for this then in the tablets also chemically those all vitamins are stored if i am not well i have a fever i so uh, doctor will give me a paracetamol uh, tablet then in that tablet uh, that tablet contain a vitamin which will help my body to uh, give more resistance power and which can fight against the this is so like this these all groups contains the different type of the vitamins which are very much helpful when our body is not well we are ill we are not uh, suffering from some uh, particular diseases these vitamins are going to help if uh, i am not going to doctor even though i am uh, i am not well okay so of course if i am get a fever yesterday if today i do not go to doctor i am not going to die because previously whatever i have eaten the, all the fresh types of different types of the vegetables and fruits those all contain these all group of vitamins and when i am not uh, uh, well then uh, i i have got the fever or i got the some other uh, small disease then these vitamins already stored in my body those are going to help uh, to fight against the uh, diseases particular diseases so see you might have seen if there will be your brother and sister they will not even go to hospital if they are not well also uh, they will get cure within 2 to 3 days because their resistance power is very strong then how do it become strong not only by eating only the tablets they will become strong if we have the habit of eating natural fresh fruits and all type of the a leafy or and other all type of fresh vegetables by eating uh, uh, vegetables and the fruits we will get this vitamins of a b complex c d e and the k okay children i hope you all have got what are the different types and groups of the food and how we get these all different type of energy from the different food or vegetable and then we will discuss actually how do the uh, uh, food will come from where the food is going to come we know that food we get from plants more than 80% of food we get from the plants plants how we are going to get yes of course all type of vegetables from the plants all type of fruits from the plants cereals pulses nuts grams dal this rice wheat maize everything more than 90 more not only more than 80 more than 90% of things we are going to get from the plants then what is which is the main source of the plant, uh, food then plants are main source of the food and then other than that we get the milk we get the meat we get the fish yog okay mm. and the milk means milk products all will come in the milk products then how we are getting this one 
this one we are getting from the animals and the cow and the buffalo are going to give us the milk and by uh, chicken and some other uh, uh, animals we are getting the meat and then fish by uh, fish we are getting the fish and fish oil and uh, meat fish okay we will get these all from the animals and even the honey i think you might have forgotten honey we know that honey we will get from a honey bee honey bee is going to prepare a he hive honey hi, uh, sorry bee hive that from that bee hive we will get the honey that honey is also considered as the animal product the food we get from the animals okay what are the two sources of food plants and the animals more than 80 90% of food we get from the plants and some uh, products we get from the animals too okay then after this not only by learning this different type of the food and from where we get the food even we must learn the then these all how do we get this plants okay we have now got an idea the plant is going to give us uh, the food and then how do we get the uh, plants where we have the plants of course the farmers farmers are going to grow the crops from the farmer field we will get all type of the food vegetable and the fruits then how those are going to come and reach us reach our house of course your father and mother is will go to the grocery shop and they will buy purchase the food items but till their grocery shop they will come from a uh, farmers land to a different stages to the big storage or um, godavan of the food and our uh, um, market that is uh, vegetable market or a fruits market or the godavan so they will come and store there and then from there they are going to divide and they will be distributed to the small small shops so you will learn uh, when you go for fifth standard you learn the food chain so in that you will learn exactly what are the steps of the food and how it is going to be carried and to get a good food for throughout the year another one thing storage of food is also the most important thing then we even after coming to home also we must store the food even the farmer is also going to store the food very uh, uh, systematically whereas uh, very systematically and meaningfully then it will come to godavan there also the storage will be very systematically then it will come to the different different shops there also in shops also they are going to store it very systematically when it reaches to our house again we, your mother is going to clean everything and then she is also going to store it very carefully this is how the story of a food and how this is important for us and how these are going to help for us and from where it is coming this all we have discussed in this video children and uh, before ending i want to give you a homework write down what are the sources of the food and how do we store the food and you can write down what are minerals and example and what are vitamins and example these four questions you have to write very neatly and you have before writing simply don't keep on writing understand see this video one or twice if you have not understood look at this video understand realize think okay i hope you all do this whatever it is told in the video and in the next video we'll uh, discuss the different topic okay till then take care bye bye